Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and today I'm going to show you how to attach an arm to a hand-sewn felt softy. This is the little softy I've been showing you different construction things as we go along, and right now I'm going to show you how to attach the arm. I've already sewn the arm, just sewed along the sides, and then I put a doubled up pipe cleaner down there and sewed it together across the top. There's nothing fancy about that. What I do want to show you is how I attach it to his body. I've got two flaps of felt here. And the first thing you're going to do is just fold them in. This is actually really, really easy. So you fold them in, and then you stick the arm in there. And you just want to stick it a little bit past the edge of the felt there. You want to stick it straight out, unless you want to have his arms always kind of slanting down or up, but I tend to make it go straight down. That way I have more flexibility in how I pose him later. So I just left my thread hanging after I sewed up the side here. And you're just going to pretend you're doing whip stitches, but you're going to come out. I'm going to come out at the top as if I were going over the edge of the fabric, but I'm going through the arm. And now I'm going to go down, take my lower stitch, and you're going to go right through the pipe cleaner and you need to kind of steer it to make sure that it comes out so it just looks like the next whip stitch. So I'm going to go again out the top, make sure it's coming out right next to that stitch. And then I'm going to go in. Whoops, see I didn't come straight out the other side so I'm going to back up and just angle my thread needle where I want it to come out. Pull it tight. Go out the top. So I like mine to my arms. Some people will ladder stitch the arms to it, and that looks nice too. But I kind of like the look of continuous whip stitching around. Plus, it's usually not that visible because your thread matches the felt instead of contrasting it like this white does. You just keep working all the way up the arm till you come out at the end. I'm going to do one more through the arm there, just through that last little bit. And now I'm just going to continue whip stitching. I go over the edge of the fabric, and I w I'm actually working from the back now. I need to flip him over, and then you can whip stitch like normal. So you just keep working along the softy. You don't have to tie it off or anything. Just keep working your way around. So you get what looks like a continuous line of whip stitching, but it really has that arm securely held in there. And on the inside, you can see that there's a little bit of felt and quite a bit more pipe cleaner sticking out. I like to have plenty of pipe cleaner on the inside because that helps you pose the arm more effectively on the finished softy. So that's how you attach an arm to a felt softy and make it look like it's just a continuation of the whip stitching that is holding the body parts together anyway. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. I'll see you next time.